Brazil is quickly emerging as the next COVID-19 hotspot in the world with the second highest number of infections. The Latin American nation has recorded the highest daily death toll for the fifth straight day, surpassing that even of the United States of America. But what has led to the country's steep rise in COVID-19 infections? Is it President Bolsonaro's leadership or the growing confusion and denial among the people? Our next report gets you all the details. When the pandemic first broke out in Brazil, President Bolsonaro dismissed the virus as a little flu. Nearly 400,000 infections later, Bolsonaro's attitude towards the virus has not changed. Recently, the president ignored all social distancing norms, stepping out to get a hot dog. This is not the first time Bolsonaro has flouted rules. Earlier, he was even seen taking part in political rallies and motorcade protests without a mask. Even with the death toll mounting, Bolsonaro remains at loggerheads with his governors. In a recent expletive-laden rant during a press conference, Bolsonaro attacked his own governors for taking restrictive measures. <laughs> But it's not just the president's comments and actions. Denial and confusion remain high among people, especially in the Brazilian city of Manaus. A city of two million, known as the gateway to the Amazon, has been devastated by the virus. A person can't even die with dignity. He's going to spend the night in the freezer when we could be doing his wake at home. But the city's residents are quick in dismissing the concerns posed by the virus. Health experts believe that this denial stems from a deadly mix of misinformation and conflicting messages from the country's leaders. Emergency services even say there is a stigma to even acknowledging the virus. Meanwhile, in Rio, another major city of Brazil, medical workers are overwhelmed by the growing number of cases. For some hours, patients recently admitted with COVID-19 were sharing a room with a man who died from the same. Health workers have described the situation in Rio's hospitals as devastating. And not just the lack of health care and infrastructure, Brazil is reeling under its worst economic crisis in years. The Latin American nation experienced its most aggressive deflation for at least 26 years. This was the steepest monthly deflation in over a quarter of a century. Brazil faces an uphill battle with the surge in COVID-19 infections, but many believe that low testing rates and a vulnerable indigenous population means that the worst is yet to come for the Latin American nation. Bureau Report, Vion, World is One.